I'm Amy the Bunny Lady, and this is my partner Elusive, Ellie for short. Give me a kiss. <laughs> and today we're going to talk about how your rabbit is telling you that they love you. If you're new to my channel, welcome. We give lots of tips and tricks for how to know about rabbit behavior and how to make sure that you are caring for a happy and healthy bunny. <laughs> and, and if you are interested in more tips and tricks about rabbits, then go ahead and hit that subscription button and the notification bell so that you never miss my weekly videos. One way that you can know that your rabbit is telling you that they love you is if they lick you. Rabbits that are in bonded pairs or groups will often groom each other to kind of help care for each other and to bond with each other. When they lick you or your clothing, they're also kind of including you into their group of group of people, group of others that they really care about and they are trying to let you know that. So sometimes it'll be kind of a, a mutual thing where like you'll be petting your rabbit and then you can put your hand down next to them and they'll take their turn at grooming you by licking you and then you can go pet them again. Me and my rabbit like to take turns doing that. She actually really likes to lick my face for some reason, but that there's actually been a, a couple rabbits that I know particularly like licking people's faces. Within rabbits, they lick each other's foreheads a lot, so that's probably where that one comes from. They'll also lick your clothing, thinking that's kind of part of you. And you might get nipped every once in a while, because especially if they come across a seam of your clothing, it might seem like it's a, a mat in your fur or something like that, or a tangle, and your rabbit's trying to get it out. So don't be surprised if they kind of give you love nips too. <laughs> that's all part of the grooming process, and is still your rabbit is telling you that they love you, and they're not trying to hurt you. Another behavior that rabbits use to let you know that they love you is when they run circles around your feet. <laughs> sometimes rabbits will do this when they expect food from you, but sometimes when they're just happy to see you, they will go ahead and run in circles around your feet really excitedly. <laughs> it's super cute, actually. I find this can be the case if I come home after a vacation or something, I'm gone for a weekend or something like that, and my roommate's been taking care of her. I come home and she immediately will run around my feet and be super excited to see me. <laughs> and it's just so cute and it's, it's a way that your rabbits can say, Oh, I'm so happy to see you. I love you. Another way that rabbits will tell you that they love you is when they come up to you and give you a little nudge or put their head down asking to be pet. Most rabbits won't do this unless they actually really trust you because unless they know someone they generally won't go up to them because you know they never know what's going to happen. Are they going to try to pick me up? Are they going to try to hurt me? Because rabbits are little prey animals. So if your rabbit readily comes up to you and asks to be pet <laughs> then that is a way that they are saying yes, yes I love you very much and come pet me. <laughs> and they will be very happy to you know, melts under your hands as you give them a massage. And it's a great way that they can initiate bonding with you. <laughs> Another way that rabbits really show that they love and trust their people is when they come and lay down right next to you. This is especially if they like flop over next to you or sprawl out with their legs out from underneath them. Because anytime a rabbit lays in a way that takes their feet out from underneath them, it means that they can't get up as quickly as if they were in a loaf or if they stayed kind of sitting up. Which means if any kind of predator or threatening person comes along, that would take precious seconds to get up before they could run away. So if a rabbit purposefully comes over and lays down next to you, they're saying, I trust you very much and I love you enough to come and sit by you and watch your back. In groups and bonded pairs, rabbits also often will sleep next to each other and that's one way that you can know that the bonding is actually going well. It's because the rabbits are very happy to basically lay down and fall asleep in each other's presence. So think of it the same way as you and your rabbit. While you may not quite speak the same language, you can still know that your rabbit is coming to lay down next to you because they trust you and they want to be with you and it's, it's definitely a way that your rabbit is saying, yes, I love you. 
Another way that rabbits let you know that they love you with their behavior is when they come and binky toward you when they see you. <laughs> now a binky is that happy twisty jump that rabbits do. They will do this when they are super happy and it is literally a jump for joy. So when your rabbit is binking toward you, that means that they are very happy to see you and just you <laughs> makes them so happy. <laughs> I sometimes see this behavior with my rabbit if she kind of loses track of where I am. So I'll have gone into another room while she's playing around with some compared cardboard and then all of a sudden she realizes she doesn't know where I went. And then she'll come around the corner and realize, oh, there you are. And then she'll come binky towards me. And it's super cute and it's really a way that your rabbit is saying, yay, I found you. I'm so glad you're here. I love you. <laughs> Rabbits are also saying that they love you if they will come up to you and hop up onto your lap and just sit there. Most rabbits don't like being held or being put in a place where they feel like they won't be able to escape. And a lot of times this is kind of synonymous with sitting in someone's lap. They'll feel like, oh no, they have so much control over me, there's no way I'll be able to escape. So if your rabbit will voluntarily come up to you and come and sit in your lap, then they are saying they trust you very much. They trust that you're not going to try to pick them up. They trust that you're not going to try to make them feel trapped or scared or anything like that. They're saying, yes, I, I want to be with you so much that I'm going to stay here. And I trust you that you will also respect me. And the two of you can sit there together. Rabbit can leave if they want to, but a lot of times they'll just, you know, sit there being pet for a while if they feel safe in your lap. Another way you can tell that your rabbit loves you with their body language is if they purr <laughs> when you're petting them. So a rabbit purr is not the same as a cat's purr. It's just called the same thing because the, it means the same thing. It means that your rabbit is content and happy. A rabbit purr is when they s softly grind their teeth together. It sometimes will actually make a sound where you can hear their teeth kind of chattering together. You can usually see the little whiskers twitching and it's a, it's a little cute. If you put your face next to it, it will be very ticklish. If you're petting their head, you can also usually feel a little vibration in their head. And that's how you know your rabbit is purring. And this is something that rabbits do when they're feeling really calm and content. They're so happy in the moment. And most of the time you will notice it if you go and pet your rabbit. So if your rabbit is real calm and enjoying the massage, you'll see their teeth start to softly grind together and they're saying, oh, this is nice, I love you. <laughs> so you can continue petting them, watching them melt and be super happy in the moment. If you found this information interesting or helpful and want to know more about rabbits and rabbit care or rabbit facts, behavior, <laughs> anything like that, then go ahead and hit that subscription button and the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my weekly videos. And thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.